Okay, we're going to kick it off with Jason H's question. He says, I'm not a fan of annuities, but he's wondering, is there ever a situation where getting an annuity would make sense or be a good option? Um, yeah, yes. The answer is yes. The, I, I, I don't want to paint it as though all annuities are always bad all of the time. What's happened, though, is that the actual uh, purpose that annuity serves has, in my opinion, gotten somewhat, somewhat bastardized over the years in terms of how they're structured, how the products are created, how they're all wrapped together. Uh, if you are someone out there and you say, man, you know what, I'm really scared of markets and I'm scared of investing and I'm afraid that if I were to invest my dollars, then I would have a high propensity of selling out and going to cash and I just don't trust myself. But you know what? I have a pretty reasonable standard of living and I know that my fixed expenses are $2,000 per month. Well, there is a case in made that in a high interest rate environment where the payouts on annuities are attractive, you could go take some portion of your liquid wealth and you could buy an immediate fixed annuity that would then satisfy that fixed cost. So basically what you're doing is you're creating your own pension. You're creating your own guaranteed income stream. That's certainly a, a, a use case where an annuity could make sense. I just feel like, it's like people ask us all this time about like life insurance, Brian. Hey, does whole life insurance ever make sense? Yeah, sure, there are times when it does make sense, but the times that it makes sense pale in comparison to the times that it is pitched and how often it is suggested as a suitable solution when there are probably better solutions out there. Yeah, I, I wrote down three quick things. Um, I have personally seen, and because I, I, look, we all have our own biases, and um I, I just assumed that once I showed everyone that if you give investing enough time, meaning because that's what the insurance company is doing, when they put those surrender charges of a, typically at least 10 years, they're controlling your behavior where you don't really get access. And if you can, if you can give me anybody's money and tell me they have zero access to it for, or very minimal access for 10 years, a lot of good stuff happens in 10 years because it takes away – the emotional side of buying and selling and getting in and out at the wrong times. So it protects you from that. So um, I just assumed I could educate most people to why traditional investing to where you are incurring risk for this better reward, but the longer you can wait, the more the the, the risk is mitigated. Mm -hmm. But I have personally seen and met people who we've even um, come across who they just can't handle any they risk. Can't handle I any mean, at all. emotionally. They're a wreck, and um, and and those we've we've tried to educate, we've tried to work through, and, and, and it just it doesn't work, it doesn't connect, and those we at the end I was just you throw up your hands, but yeah, I guess you, you should be in an annuity because you cannot handle you from yourself. Yeah, you because you know at least some of those things might instead of being negatives, they might actually be features for you. Mm -hmm. But it's um, but so I, I've dealt with that. Because um, there and I and I liked your example of the immediate annuities because I do think that there is a portion of the public. And, and I've been talking about this for years, as interest rates go up, a lot of you might want to take a portion of your, your big pot of money and essentially say, you know what, it'd be nice if a portion of this, I didn't bear any risk. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any market risk. I didn't have to deal with this. So I would just go buy this immediate annuity, essentially create a smaller pension, not mm -hmm. no, not too different from like what Social Security sure. is, to where it's just coming in. And yes, when I die, that money goes away. Um, there's nothing going to the beneficiaries. But... I, had, I created my own income stream that was safe from what's going on in the market. Now, here's the problem with that. And now I have not looked at this in the last month and a half to two months, but Daniel and I, last time we looked at it, we were shocked to see that the guaranteed rates on a lot of these contracts were not keeping pace with what's going on with, with treasuries. Yeah, with they were actually keeping the, the guaranteed rates substantially lower than even what you can earn on your cash. Mm -hmm. I, I'm imagining at some point that's going to shift. Sure. Maybe on the yield curves as 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 they you know kind of balance out. But but it's just been something I've been watching. But I think that that's the type of information, Jason, that I would use in my decision um, center is, is thinking about. Hey, what's the guaranteed interest rate? How does that compare to what's going on with Treasuries? Both you know, one year, you know, ten years, long term mm -hmm. Treasuries, you know, the Treasury bonds. So you kind of get an understanding of really what you can do 
without all the insurance package around it, because there's costs with that, of course. Yep. Um, but there's definitely a need for it in some cases. I just worry, how often is this product more sold than what's needed through some of these features and design elements that are trying to capture a lot more people than probably they, they realize what they're getting a hold of? Yep. 